This stuff ain't cheap right now, but what if I told you there was a way to legally steal gasoline from gas stations? That's what we're going to talk about today. What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got my dad with me and he has taught me a lot of the things that I've taught you guys on this channel. And today I wanted to talk about how he gets free gas and some of the places that he saves a lot of money on gas. So I'm going to kind of just be interviewing him and letting him steal the show today. Sounds good. So what are some of your favorite stores to get gas at and what are the rewards for those stores? First of all, if you're going to play the game, you've got to learn the rules and every grocery store has their own rules. So you really have to dig into it. Just like you always say, you have to do research. Same thing on free gas or getting a lot of money off free gas. Every store, whether it be BP, UDF, Kroger, Meyer, Giant Eagle, they all have their own games. And they all want you to play their games in hopes that you don't take advantage of their gas rewards. But I'm here to tell you, you can make a part-time living just on free gas or very reduced gas. And he's been doing this for as long as I can remember. I used to do this a little bit, but obviously I drive a Tesla now, so I really have no need to do this because I'm not paying gas, thankfully, right now. But with gas prices as high as they are, we just really wanted to share this information with a lot of people because it's something anyone can do. And I think you'll roll the clip at some point during this interview that you'll see that I got a full tank of gas plus 20 gallons in the trunk. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. And we're here to show you how you can take advantage of the rules and make good money by saving money. So how do we get started in each of these stores? You go to the store and you pick up one of these cards. It's a rewards program. You're probably already signed up. So let's just start with Kroger since everybody knows Kroger. A lot of you have probably played this game and have these like he said, and you're probably just buying like groceries and stuff with it. That's just a small piece of the pie. That's what we're gonna get into. Definitely. They go and use your Kroger card and they go buy meat, they buy milk, they buy bread, and they get a whole whopping 10 cents off a gallon. So at Kroger, you earn money by buying groceries or gift cards and they let you spend up to $1 off. Now, when you get that dollar, a lot of people just think it's a dollar and it really isn't a dollar. It's a dollar off every gallon of gas that you buy. So you can get up to $35 off because they allow you to purchase 35 gallons of gas. So what you gotta do, so what you gotta do is you gotta take your gas cans so that you can get the full reward. What most people fail to do is get that extra gas and they'll earn up to like, let's just say 50 cents because of the groceries they bought. And then they put in their Honda Civic and get 11 gallons. They left all that gas and gave it right back to Kroger. Or they'll try to run a couple cars through, which usually you'll get yelled at and you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> you can tell that's experience when he was younger. So what we want to do is take full advantage of the program that each store gives us. At Kroger, we want to take advantage of all 35 gallons. So with this, we need gas cans because not too many cards hold 35 gallons. Also, we want to make sure that we're using all the perks that you get, which is the full dollar. And so uh, let that accumulate till you get that whole dollar off and then get the 35 gallons. So you're getting $35 off every time you get gas. Now, when $2 a gallon was a thing, a dollar off was half off. Unfortunately, now for most of us, it's only a quarter off. One day, hopefully we'll get back there where a dollar is meaningful. But until then, it's not bad to still get $35 off for doing nothing besides playing their game. Now, a lot of people go, I've never had a dollar off. Well, here's the thing. You really probably can't unless you have a huge family and you're only buying groceries. What you want to do is you want to purchase gift cards. Now, what I've always taught you in growing up is that you always spend your money three times. And what I mean by that is, let's take $100 and you want to use that $100 and get rewarded for spending $100 three times. And you're still probably like, what are you talking about? So I have a credit card that gives me 4% back at grocery stores. So I go to Kroger or another place that I'll talk to you later where I get free gas. And I spend $100 on, let's say, Best Buy. I'm gonna buy something at Best Buy. 
So I take my credit card that gives me 4% back at Kroger. When I make this purchase for 100, I'm getting $4 cash back from my credit card. So you're only spending $96 on the $100 gift card. Already making $4. Then I'm getting 10 cents for every $50 spent. That's what Kroger's gonna give me in gas. Now, you might get lucky and purchase it when Kroger's gonna double it. A lot of times you'll see four times, that truly really is only doubling it. So at four times reward at Kroger, that means you're getting 20 cents for every $50 you spend. So if I'm buying a $100 gift card, four times would actually be 40 cents off. So you can see right there, we've used the money twice already. We've gotten money off our gift card sent back to us. We're making money on the gift card by getting free gas, that's spending that same $100 twice. And then the third time is when we go to the store and purchase whatever we were gonna already purchase. Now for me, it's purchasing inventory. Best Buy's not a great place for that. That's personal stuff. But say we grab something like this Burlington gift card here. That's obviously you're gonna put that $100 to hopefully make $200 on that and flip that investment. Or you saw these videos. Starbucks, he's made a lot of money at Starbucks. Well, yeah, I buy my gift cards for Starbucks and then go buy the mugs and then resell them. Therefore, I've spent the money three times, the same hundred dollars. So some of you aren't big resellers and you're like credit card, gift cards, this is all crazy. How many of you take a trip? You've seen videos where he and I go to Dallas. Guess what, when you go on a trip, you gotta stay at a hotel and you gotta spend four or five hundred dollars. So. If you get your Discover card, your Visa, your MasterCard, go to Kroger, buy whatever you know is gonna be spent on your hotel expense. Hotels.com has a credit card. The Marriott has a credit card. Airlines. We buy Southwest gift cards, American gift cards, Delta gift cards. They have whatever you're gonna spend, they already have it at the store. When you get to Dallas on our trip, guess what? We had to buy gas. They sell gift cards for gas at Kroger. Even if you're going to buy gas around town, it's still smarter to go get a gift card for Kroger and fill up a BP and earn your money towards a Kroger discount for gas down the line. It really is that simple. Think ahead, spend your money three times, the same money, spend it three times. A lot of you may say this is crazy and like way too time consuming, but you're going to spend that money anyway, so you might as well spend it on a gift card that you can spend again and get rewards on that. Exactly, but here's the thing. You don't buy the gift cards if you can't pay off your credit card at the end of the month. If you're just going in debt, this, doesn't, this system does not work. So the only way this system works is either pay cash but then you lose one of those three times that you're spending that money, or you do it intelligently, and here's what I've always told you. Will you loan me $500 for free this month? Well, let me ask somebody else. Will you, I don't know you, but will you give me $500 to this month for free? I'll pay you back at the end of the month. You won't, will you? Of course not. But guess what, your credit card will. They will hand you that money for free in hopes that you don't pay them back. And that's where they make their money off you. I've never given a credit card company any money, but you know what? They wanna loan me money all the time in hopes that I forget one month. Don't pay them interest. It's free to borrow money on your credit card. Here's the thing I've also always told you. Don't spend money you don't have. If you don't have the money, you don't need it. If you can't pay off your credit card, don't get one because you're just gonna get yourself more in debt and you do not wanna get yourself in credit card debt. It just snowballs. So let's pick another one, UDF, United Dairy Farmer. I'm not sure how many of you have a UDF near you. Great milkshakes if you do. <laughs> and you can always find their specials at the gas pumps. Mm -hmm. So they have similar rewards, not nearly as good as Kroger, but if you get this, you can do something and you get some money off. Meyer, if you're in the Midwest, they have a little bit of something, something. It's not as good as Kroger. There are lots of different companies and you're gonna have grocery stores in your area that do the exact same thing. And what I say is you can't do this with just gas and food. You have to enter this into it with the gift card game. And already pre-buy, what you're already gonna spend your money on. And that way you get ahead quicker and you get money off gas, if not free gas. And if you're about to make a big purchase, like we said on a trip or something, or say you're gonna buy a TV, go buy a gift card for that place. You don't have to buy a bunch of random gift cards, buy the gift card when you need it. And 
They've even got gift cards for McDonald's, Wendy's. Yeah, buy $25 gift cards to a bunch of places that you eat and you'll use them up in no time. So where, where can we get this free gas we're talking about? Well, I showed you this card a little earlier. This is my favorite place. I cannot get enough of Giant Eagle. Now, unless you're in Pennsylvania, Ohio. Michigan. Michigan maybe, but. Indiana maybe, I don't know. I don't Midwest. know, Midwest probably. And I'm sure there's other companies that do it other places too. Mm -hmm. But in where we live, this is my favorite because here I can get free gas. Literally, they let me stack my points. I get to keep my rewards for three months and it basically will allow me to fill up 30 gallons of gas for free. We did it on Sunday before church. We got, what was it, $3.85, I think it was supposed to be, a gallon. Yep. And as you can see in the video, it rolled up to zero dollars. Yeah, so Kroger like caps it at a dollar. That's the most you can get. You can get up more past that. You can get up to like three bucks, but they'll only let you spend one dollar at a time. Whereas Giant Eagle, say you get up to like ten dollars, gas is four bucks. That's two and a half Phillips right there. They'll let you use the full thing. Right, you get 30 gallons. So again, you gotta get the cans because I'm not gonna let them keep their free gas. I'm taking all 30 gallons. And you can see in the video that I just stack four cans in the trunk, bring it home, got a little siphon and I just fill up the other cars. It's a part-time job. I think last year I saved over $10,000 in gas. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but it's gonna pay off. That's 10 grand that you can put towards something else. 10 grand, that's a part-time job. Literally, it's a part-time job. Mm -hmm. And all you're doing is spending money on different cards that you're already gonna spend your money on anyways. And by the time it starts snowballing, you're a rock star and you're making good money on free gas and rewards on your credit card. And it just keeps snowballing. And anytime I go on vacation, I know I'm gonna have to buy gas. I know I have to go to a, a hotel. I know I've gotta do things. I know I'm gonna go out to eat. You just get gift cards ahead of time and you roll that into free gas. So either get gift cards or get a Tesla. It's really only two choices. I'm getting a Tesla. He's getting a Tesla too, but he'll still do this for my mom's car. I'm I sure. definitely will continue to do this. Now you say, you can't really do this. Well, let me do the easy math for you. If gas was at $2, which it's not, that's when it's a lot of fun because it's really simple to get there. So. Typically, you get 10 cents for every $50 you spend. And then sometimes they'll have a thing where you can get double your rewards, two times your rewards. But let's just go with double your rewards. Like, I same example with Kroger. At 20 cents for every $50 you spend, that is 40 cents for every $100. So if gallon is at $4, let's just say, it's a little less than that here, but where you are, it might be a little more, it might be a little less, but let's just for easy sake say it's at $4. So if you spend $2,000 in gift cards, now this can be over a course of three months. So that's really not talking that much when you're talking about eating, staying at places, getting gas at other places because you got to buy gas. For women that like to do things, Joanne Fabrics has a gift card. It's silly. Staples. You've got to buy things for Staples. The kids like Google. There's a gift card for just basically everybody. And you might ask, well, why don't I just get a Visa or MasterCard gift card because they make those? Well, they charge surcharges on those of like seven to $10, depending on the amount. So you're not really able to spend that money three times because that eats that up. So we don't recommend that. You gotta get the exact store. Especially around the holidays, they do a lot of doubling and tripling. That's really when you wanna buy these. When they're 10 cents for every 50, it's okay. But when it gets really exciting, Giant Eagle just had one that I bought this. And as you can see, it's a multiple gift card. So I can say, well, I'm gonna spend 30 here, 50 here, 100 here, 25, whatever you wanna do. Here's another one that is very similar. As you can see that you can buy this, and this was two and a half times the money. So I'm getting 25 cents for every $50 spent. $100, it's 50 cents, $200. I'm getting a dollar off. At Kroger, $200 at that kind of money, it, it's before you know it, you've already saved $35 and it's money you're already gonna spend. So I'm not telling you to go out and spend money that you don't have or you're not gonna use. Basically, spend the money you're already gonna spend. Just use it on gift cards. And now you get free gas or a lot off gas. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want some more financial talks of me and my dad, let us know down below. Definitely. We've got 
We've got plenty of information to share. So if you have anything that you're interested in, definitely feel free to comment on that and we'll definitely shoot a video. I've actually got a video coming out on like credit cards and other ways to make your money, more money that you're going to spend. That'll be out in a couple days or like a week or so. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. Also, if you're interested in my personal Discord um, cook group where we talk about all different kinds of ways to make money and have mentoring and all different things, you can do so. First link in the description, you can join there. If you guys want my dad to make a uh, YouTube channel, Baby Boomer Profit, maybe he'll make one of those. No, I'm Millennial Pops. Millennial Pops, that too. But he's gonna take us out with the catchphrase. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit. There's money to be made. There's money to be made everywhere. It's a hard saying to say. There's money to be made everywhere.